Good morning everyone. So it's time to finish my block. So I'm actually going to lift my mat because I've pinned down the wings um, to my piece, but I wanted to show you what I've done. So I finished my embroidery down the side. I'll just tap it so you are in focus. Okay. Um, I did finished off the flowers as I had showed you. I just did, these are all colonial knots with Appleton wool. So they're very thick and I did them quite loose. And then these are French knots in two different colours and then just little back stitch in two strands of DMC. And then I just did those little flowers that we've done before and a couple of little sprigs there. And I just finished off those leaves. And I think I'm going to leave that because I'm really happy with how that looks. I've just pinned my butterfly in place and um, to sort of position it. I don't have anything up here. I don't know if I'm going to add something up there. We'll evaluate that afterwards. And so now I'm just going to stitch these in place in the centre. And then we'll see what to do about the, the um, centre part of the butterfly. I'm just looking for my thread. I nearly fell. Oh, here it's right in front of my face. Okay, so I'm going to grab this thread here. Just grab a needle. Okay, so... I'll probably ruin it when I do the center of the butterfly. That's what's going to happen. So I'm just going to pin these like this. Got a bit of fabric on my arm. It's a bit like a specimen, isn't it? Okay. And I'm going to... It'll be a little bit fiddly. I'm just going to glue them. Put something under my nail. To get, just glue them. Oh, I don't want to be able to see it though, do I? I sort of don't want them to be coming off at all. So I'm actually going to go down them a little bit so they stay but kind of in an invisible-ish fashion. on screen yes I'm gonna come up over here to this one I'm going to keep my pins in just to keep them so they don't sort of you know bend up and annoy me when I'm trying to stitch on my center of my butterfly, which I haven't, I sort of was thinking I was gonna, I'll show you in a second, I was gonna um, have wrap. I've got that um, DMC cotton. That's supposed to be, now that one's moved. Let's just slide it back under there and catch it in place. But now I'm thinking I might not, be able to cover my center although I can stitch can't I? I can cover it with stitches I'm really pleased with the colors I'm really happy with this one I think I shouldn't say that as I said I might ruin it when I do the center of my butterfly My other option is I could cut out some felt and put that down the centre and then stitch over it. I just want to sort of stitch down these ends too. I don't want them poking up. I want them to stay down. So they're just random stitches 
holding it all in place. Okay, we'll end that off. And now we've got to figure out the centre. So I've got this here. I'd actually done, I've just wrapped it, what I did was I wrapped it around three fingers about five times to sort of get the thickness, but I, I don't know if that's too thick. It's going to be fiddly. I was going to put that. I think that's going to be all right, but I'm going to actually stitch over it. I'm going to, you might not even be able to see it. So, um, but I did navy blue just to tie in with these so if you can see but I need to decide um, what color is the body going to be and I thought I could pull it in a little bit tighter here and a bit looser there go a bit wider where the, the you know the head of the butterfly is so I could have a color like this but we've got a lot of pink going on so I wouldn't do that um, I could totally no I don't want to totally introduce a different color Not that colour. You'll just have to bear with me while I find what I would like to use. I don't mind that one. Or something like it would go pale. No, I don't want to go pale. I think this is too no, that's too um dull the colour of that one. Let me just see what else I've got. Do I want to do it with a wool? I could do it with a wool. Um, let's look at the colours. Oh, that's too similar. I think that colour is like too close to those and it would blend in too much. I do have this nice variegated navy one. I wonder if that's too dark. See, it's hard, isn't it? Not that one. Or would we want to go with a yellow? Oh, I might like a yellow. Is that weird? Now I'm casting a shadow. Let's just slide it over here. I don't know. Yellow might remind me of a bee. I don't think I want to go brown. I don't want to go down the brown road. Here's a brown. Let's just have a look. No. And then I want to look here at the Steph Francis colours. Let's have a look at those. So that's an option, but I'm scared it might be too dark. Um, no, it's not the right colour. I think this will be too light. I don't mind that one. No. It's one of those two, I think. I can't see anything else that's taking my fancy, except I didn't mind the yellow. But do you think the yellow or this darker yellow?
Do I want to go subtle? I don't know. Or do I want to go like that? I think I'm going to go with the darker colour, not that one. I'm going to go with the darker colour. If I don't like it, I'll take it out. That's what I'll do. Okay, let's close these. Put them on my garbage bin down here. Out of my way. Okay, here goes. So what I might do here, that's okay like that. I'll tuck that in. I'm going to maybe move it up a bit further. And I need some pins. Oh, I've got a few needles there. Let's move those over there. I'm just going to just need to hold it in place. So how am I going to do that? I'll just go like this. And I just need to remember to, to squeeze it. So I'll start and then I'll pause and finish it off camera and then show you on camera what I did. I'm obviously going to start at the bottom. I'll just twist it around. Now the reason why I'm putting this under is just to create some bulk. I'm put, you know, I'm pulling my thread over it fairly tight, so that way I'm creating my shape. I hope. I'm just going to work my way to the end, and then I'll come back and see how it's sort of neatening up. And you sort of just sort of help it. If you have to sort of sit where you want it to sit. And this Appleton is, I'm just going a, become it going a little bit narrower as I get to the end. And this Appleton is almost the same colour, pretty much the same colour as the DMC cotton. Oh, I think the phone's going to pop out just a second. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm facing the right way. I might zoom you in a bit further. Lucky I heard that. There we go. Hope that didn't make you feel sick. Where's my pin gone? Oh, there. that's enough there and I'm going to come up here and continue on here and maybe in the center let it stay a bit wider you know of the body I'm trying to think of the shape of the body it was very hard to choose a color I found I wasn't sure what color but I'm I'm not sure. I won't know until I get further down. Take that out. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's not the worst. I 
and probably not don't have to be quite have them quite as close here the stitches because it is a similar color to the background so to the you know the thread so I can just sort of mosey on along here a bit looser I did it tighter at the end because you know you want to hold your thread the, the, the thread underneath in and now here I'm starting to get into the wings I like the texture that the wool is giving it and I like the bulk that the the cotton is giving it underneath so all in all I'm pretty happy with it so far Oh, I've got a, I haven't pulled my, it doesn't matter, I'll just leave it. I haven't pulled my thread right through. I think I'll have a hard time trying to, you know, find which, th which thread it is. Okay, so I'm going to pause it. I'm going to get further towards where the head of the butterfly would be. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm going to pause it and then I'll come back when I'm finishing it off. Okay, so I'm back. I'm just starting to go. Um, it's only been a couple of minutes. See how I'm just, I went just sort of narrower there a little bit, just sort of slightly wider there. And now I'm going a little bit narrower here. I'm going to put, probably put one more stitch. And then I'm going to start, oh no, maybe I'll start creating the shape of the head now. So then I'm going to start going a tiny bit wider again. So this is just satin stitch. Well, I'm couching as well because I'm couching on all of these threads too, with it. And, but it's also like a satin stitch couching because it's all close together. It's not far apart. Now I think I can start, no, I think I'll do one more in the wider. I pulled that too tight. I'm doing them a little bit looser. And then I'll start narrowing it down for the top of the head. You can see how it filled in really quickly using a nice thick woolly thread too. And now we're going in a bit narrower to create our round, more rounded sort of shape. Just make sure your stitch goes on top of the cotton underneath. I'm sort of guiding it, telling it where to go. Now my fabric underneath is, you know, quite a flimsy sort of linen-y, damask -y sort of fabric. So um, when I put this in my book, I'm going to do, I'm just going to put another stitch in there. I feel like it's missing a stitch. Um, I'm going to, 
invisible stitch it on. Oh, I love it. It turned out. Okay, great. It worked. I wasn't sure. Okay, let's take the pins out. And the purpose of the wire is obviously so you can maneuver them. So they are all stitched on. I stitched them on previously, but look, you can bend them as you like. How cute is that? I mean, that could be, you know, you could have them rippled or you can do whatever you like. I need to put two antennas. I'll probably just take, oh, I did, on um, where did I throw that thread? I probably had enough here. I might just do two little short ones. I don't want to do long ones. I was worrying about that. I think I just popped into my mind. I might do two short little antennas with this. So it's the same. I'm just trying to thread it without having to use my thread. I'm being lazy. And I did make a mess of it. Come on. I did it before all the time. Oh, now it doesn't want to cooperate. Okay. Well, I don't want to get a new piece, so because it's only two little stitches I'm doing. So where's my what now? Where did I put my needle? I've just plopped it down here. There it is. Okay, we'll thread it with the threader. I'll do what I'm supposed to do. Okay. If you don't want to go through there, you can go through there. Okay. I should have done it before. Okay, so I'm just going to put two little, um, he's only going to have little, little ones, just shooting out like that. Just like that, just a, just little ones, they got chopped off, someone chopped them off, poor little butterfly, there we go. Yep, because there's so much going on, I don't want big long ones, Big and they would be thick with this, I don't want, I want that to have no. I'll just leave that thread long so it won't I have I probably would have tied it again. Yeah, I like that. There we go. So there's my butterfly. This is all done. And now let me look up through the camera. Oh, I can't really see that one if I move it over here. I can't really tell. Do I want something up there? Is this enough? I think this is enough. Let me just have a little think for a second. Just grab to see if I can find them. Here they are. Sometimes these these sorts of things just um, hmm, Tia, it could be my brother's initials. Um, these little things can just finish something off. I love that one. That's a favourite. It's a good place to put your favourites. Yep. See if I add that to me. That is it. I'm done. Is that the right way up? I don't know. I think it's the same. So I'll put it there, like that, where the, all of these meet. These three fabrics. I'm going to put it right there and then I'm done. Yay! So my block is complete and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. So we'll have a quick look. Let me just quickly stitch this on. I'm just going to whip around. I'm going to put it in my book to see what it looks like. There we go. Now I can start thinking about next week. I'm just going to stitch it on with this cotton. One more stitch and we're done. Think. 
things over there, trim this off. Okay, let's grab the pages. Oh, where are they? Oh, over there. Let's have a look in here. I might zoom you out. I have to use my other hand just a sec. Okay. Get a bit of mess around. So, this is my book so far. I still haven't stitched in um, this one. I still have to stitch that in. Yep, it's not stitched. I have to do that. So that will go there. And then this one's the post. This one I'm going to put here. Because I want that to hang over that edge like that. So um, I might skip that page. I'll put something else on that page, I think. So that's going to go on there like that. I'm very excited. And then I've got the next month. I've got three more pages to do. And that's going to sit there. Okay, cool. Now I'm wondering, wondering what these two pages would look like. See, they would look really nice together, wouldn't they? I could switch it up. Do we think and put that on the next page yes I'm going to move them I'm glad I didn't stitch that one down I'm going to put this one on this page because I like them together as far as the colors are going and I'm going to move the other one onto the next page that's what I'm going to do cool all right and then when you close it you're going to have that little bit of lace hanging out yeah Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun doing this one. Um, love the woolly flowers. Um, yeah, I think that's sort of going to work really well together. So thank you so much for watching. And we do love seeing everything um, that you're up to. So keep up um, with sharing everything and being kind to one another. It's wonderful. And um, yep, see you next week. Bye.